all right guys so we're almost there um, what we're gonna do in this video is it's probably the most complicated thing that we're gonna have to do in this project um, and that is we want to be able to enter information here submit uh, validate it make sure that they actually entered something and then um, we want to sanitize the information that they enter and then insert it into the database and then redirect us back and if needed show us the error um, if not then the error just just won't show alright so that's the functionality we're going to be adding and we're going to do that in the process file okay so if we go back if you remember our form is submitting to process.php alright so it's going to it's going to submit uh, using post variables okay so post is a super global array you probably know this um, but whatever you submit in the form shows up in this array which you can access values like this alright so when you submit this form and we have an input here with the name user alright the name attributes very important because that's what you use to grab it from the from the script that you submit to okay so this whatever we put in this input is going to be accessible through this uh, array value alright so the first thing we want to do here is include our database I don't know why that keeps happening we want to include our database file or we won't be able to do any kind of interaction alright so next we're going to um, check if form was submitted and we can do that we can say if post submit actually we want to check if it's set so we're going to use the is set function wrap that around the post Okay, so if post submit, because down here, our input uh, for our button has the name submit. So if you push that button, then this is going to be true. All right, so if it is pushed, uh, we want to grab our post variables. All right, so um, like I said, the user input is going to, we can access that like this, but we don't want to use this in our query alright we want to sanitize it so we're going to create a variable called user and we're going to set it to that but we're going to wrap it in a in escape function okay so mysqli real escape string alright we want to wrap it in that and that's going to strip any harmful content that's submitted um, HTML tags or, or whatever things that could be harmful to our script this will take care of alright you also got to pass in the connection for the first parameter okay and this connection again is coming from d the database.php file alright so we want to do the same thing for the message And there is a lot of debates on on what is suitable for security. Um, some people say that you shouldn't use this um, because sometimes you may want HTML inserted. Uh, there's just different methods that people use in some places and not others, and it really depends on the context. Um, but I mean, I ju this is just a basic video, basic script, so I'm not going to really get into high security rules or anything like that at least in this video um, so next we want to be able to get the time alright we want the current time and obviously the user doesn't submit that we need to get that so the first thing I'm going to do is set my time zone alright now if you wanted to add more functionality to the script you could have the user select their time zone and use that but um, this is just really basic so I'm just gonna set it to my time zone okay and you can do that with the function 
date default time zone set. Okay, and I'm just going to set it to my time zone of America slash New York. All right, and then we're going to create a variable called time, which will get our formatted time using the date function. Oh. Okay, so the date, the first parameter is formatting. So I'm going to use H. H I S A. All right, so that's just standard formatting. If you go to php.org, um, I'm sorry, php.net, uh, you can see all the different formatting styles for date and time. And then the second parameter is just going to be the time function. All right, so that should give us the current time. All right, so next um, we want to validate. All right, so say if oh, don't want that. So we're going to check if we're going to use the is set function but we're going to use the exclamation point so we're basically saying if it's not set okay so if user is not set or the double pipes represents or um, or user is equal to nothing or is set or if not set message or message is equal to nothing. All right, so we have it all in one conditional. Um, you could break these up and do if user and then do message in a different uh, statement. So you could better, uh, so you could have specific error messages saying you need to fill out user or you need to fill out message, but we're just doing it all in one shot. All right, so if any of that is true, then let's just run a test and say echo bad, all right, else echo good. All right, so let's reload this. And if we submit nothing, we get bad. If we submit one, we get bad. If we submit both, we get good. All right, so that's all working. All right. So let's do the good first. All right. So if they fill it out, we're going to create the query. All right. So the query is going to be an insert query. So insert into shouts. And if again, if you know MySQL, this should be no issue here. Uh, this is pretty easy. All right, so insert into shouts, we want the user, the message, and the time. These are the fields we want to submit to. All right, and then we're going to say values. Okay, so this is what we want to insert into these fields. Uh, the first one is going to be user, message, and time. Okay, so these these uh, values should match up with the order of these um, column names. Alright, so that's the query. Okay, so next we want to say if we want to make sure that it actually worked. Okay, so if not MySQLI query, and we want to pass in the connection and the query, just like we did with the select statement. All right, so basically we're saying if it didn't insert, what do we want to happen? Uh, we're just going to have it die and give us an error message.
Okay, we're going to use MySQLI error. And we need to pass in the connection there as well. Okay, so if it doesn't insert, it'll give us the error. If it does, what do we want to happen? We want to be redirected back to our index. All right, so the header method redirects us to a set location. Okay, and the location we want to be sent to is index.php. All right, so we have that part done. Now we want something to happen when, if, if they um, don't fill out the form correctly. All right, so what I want is just to redirect them back to the index, but to show them an error. All right, so let's do the uh, error message. I'm gonna put that into a variable. Okay, and I'm just gonna say, please fill in your name and a message. All right, and then we wanna redirect header and we're going to go to index.php but I want to um, bring this error with me all right so we can display it so I'm going to use uh, in the URL I'm going to use a get variable I'm going to say error equals error all right but I want it I want to use the URL and code method here um, to make this URL friendly. So URL in code and just wrap that around the error. All right, and then we'll do exit. All right, so hopefully this works. Let's go ahead and reload and let's try to send nothing. Oh, all right, so we forgot to put in our error into our um, template. All right, so right under the input div, we want to say PHP if um, all right, so we're going to test and see if that the error get variable is there. So if is set get error, then we're going to display a div class error. This is just to make it look good. All right, and we're going to echo that get variable. All right, so let's try it again. We have nothing, we submit nothing. You can see that All right, let's just um, add some style to that so we can actually see it dot error. We'll give it a red background. And the letters will be white. Uh, padding. And margin bottom. All right, so now we have an error if we don't fill out the fields. All right, so let's give this a shot. Let's say, Brad, this is a new message. Um, okay. Oh, I have a comma there in the index PHP. Right here, we need the <laughs> period. Sorry about that. Okay, let's try that again. All right, and there's my messages. Uh, the first one, 
it did go through, it just didn't redirect because I had that comma, so that's why there's two here. We can test it again. Okay, so there's John. Now, the last thing I want to do here is the order. I don't want it to show up at the bottom. I want the, the most recent um, the most recent post to be at the top, and that's really easy. We just need to edit our select query. Okay, so select from shout, and I'm gonna say order by ID. And the reason I'm choosing ID is because it's auto increment, so um, the latest the latest posts are gonna have the highest ID. Okay, I just wanna add in the, the descending keyword as well. All right, so now if we reload this, you can see that John is now at the top. So that's it for our first project. Um, you could go on and make this uh, even better. You could have some kind of uh, validation for users, registration or login. Uh, you could also add some um, JavaScript and Ajax so that you, the page doesn't even have to refresh when you enter something. It can just kind of fade in. Um, but that's kind of beyond the scope of, of this video. All right, so thanks. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next project.